Hi, I am Shivam and I'll present our recent work, Topologically Aware Deformation Fields for Single View 3D Reconstruction. Given a single image of an object, our goal is to reconstruct the underlying 3D geometry and also model dense 3D correspondences across different objects of the same category. Towards this goal, we train our system only on the category-specific single view image collections associated with the corresponding camera poses. Our system does not require any form of dense supervision during training. Prior works along this direction learning both 3D and correspondences generally rely on the mesh-based representation. While they work really well on instances with limited deformations, they cannot model larger deformations and articulations. More importantly, they are restricted to object categories with limited structural and topological variations and thus perform poorly on the topologically challenging chairs category. Inspired by these deformable reconstruction approaches, we take an image of an object and learn its underlying 3D shape by mapping it to a learned canonical shape. By doing this for several different objects in the category, we let the correspondences emerge among several different instances. Inspired by the remarkable progress in implicit modeling approaches, we learn the 3D shape in the canonical space in terms of an implicit sign distance field. To learn the shape of each individual instance, we take a 3D point in the normalized object space and map it to a 3D point in the canonical space. We learn this mapping as deformations of the object space 3D points to the canonical space using sign distance field as a functional mapping. We represent both the implicit MLPs using hyper networks and train our entire pipeline using end-to-end -end differentiable rendering system. We also learn an RGB value for each 3D point to supervise the pipeline using rendering-based losses. As you can notice, we are already able to recover much better structures than prior mesh-based approaches. But this implicit modeling approach is still not able to capture the topological details of the ground truth shapes. That is, there are no holes modeled. But why is that? This is because of the inherent continuous nature of the MLPs. Because of this, it's very difficult for the MLPs to map nearby points in one chair shape to the discontinuous faraway points in the other chair shape, thus leading to over-smooth reconstructions and difficulty in capturing topological variations. So how can we fix this issue? To fix this issue, we simply lift our learned deformation field to higher dimensions by additionally learning some per point features. By learning this continuous mapping to a higher dimensional space, the topological variations in the ground truth shapes can be better modeled. This insight is similar in principle to lifting features via the kernel trick in SVMs or the cutting planes for level set extraction in the level set theory. Now let's update the effect of the added extra dimensionality. Here k denotes the extra dimensions added in terms of the point features. As we notice, k equal to 0 leads to no holes, but as we increase the value of k, the topological structures start to appear. Now I'll show some reconstruction results on the Pascal 3D dataset. While the mesh-based approach completely fails on the topologically challenging chairs category, both SDFSRN and R approach, being implicit approaches, can better model the geometry. In comparison to SDFSRN, R approach additionally learns correspondences without any direct supervision. Here are a few more examples. We even tried our approach on the more realistic and challenging PIX3D dataset. Even though the model is trained on ShapeNet category, it adapts well to the unseen real-world examples. To further highlight the generalization capability, we train on the very small and challenging PIX3D dataset. As an obvious outcome of training on a small dataset, we notice that the reconstruction shapes are noisier for all the approaches. Compared to SDFSRN, our deformation-based approach can better model geometries and varying topologies. Furthermore, since our approach learns both 3D shape and correspondences, we can perform the task of dense texture transfer. Here are a few more results on the CUBS dataset. Unlike prior works, we can better model varying object geometries and articulations. Please check our webpage for results on more categories and datasets. Thank you.